How are you guys? Good. How are you? Doing well. Good. Nice to talk with you. So beginning with you, Corey, can each of you talk a little bit about your characters and how they fit into the Resident Alien universe? Yes. Uh, my character, I play uh, Sheriff Mike Thompson, and he is the sheriff of this small town of patients where Harry crash lands. And um, he is um, a unique character. I think he tries to mask his insecurities with just belligerence and, um, <laughs> and cruelty in some ways. Uh, and um, I think he's got the best of intentions, but is still working out uh, his own problems. And so unfortunately, anyone who finds themselves in his way uh, as he's working out himself, uh, usually finds themselves on the receiving end of some sort of degrading comment or attitude. So that's kind of just who he is. What about you, Levi? Um, I play Mayor Ben Hawthorne, who um, has, has been the mayor of Patience, Colorado for a little while. And up to this point, you know, he's been doing the typical small town mayor stuff, you know, um, pulling bingo numbers out of a hat and, uh, you know, helping old people across the street. And he's been, you know, kind of treading water up to that point. And then now there's been a murder in the town. And um, on top of the murder, his son is apparently having a mental breakdown thinking that he's seeing aliens around town. So uh, yeah, it's basically just my character trying to not lose his mind throughout the whole first season and have a nervous breakdown. And having Ben's son, Max, be the only person in town who can see um, Harry as he is, how, how can you explain why Ben is so eager to kind of push aside his son's obvious trauma? And why is he among all the others having a, such a hard time understanding that Harry is just a little bit off? <laughs> I, I think uh, Ben is just so wrapped up in his own anxiety and trauma, you know, dealing with this murder and the town, you know, there's uh, the town is starting to catch wind that this murder is happening and people are starting to freak out. And so I think Ben is just he's just trying to stay afloat mentally and um, just basically, I think, just doesn't really have time to deal with it. He, with his, the, his son seeing the alien, I think he's like, all right, your kids will be kids. Like, I don't have time to deal with that right now. I have to focus on this. And that is what makes him also look past the strangeness of Harry as a person he's like all right you're weird but you're the only person that can help me right now so I'm going to overlook that and just let you take the reins on this murder <laughs> and Corey you have comedic timing that I just never saw coming where have you been hiding that talent you know honestly it's where it started for me um really? I was I was in a musical on Broadway called Hairspray years ago a big old musical comedy and um I had done a lot of comedy bro. I think, I think what probably, well, I was on the closer for a long time, which was a drama. And what I don't, what I didn't realize at the time was doing a series like that for that long could come to define how people see you as opposed to just being an actor playing a role, uh, which is one of the things that was also most appealing about Sheriff Mike for me. The idea that, he and the character I played on the on the closer, Gabriel, are both cops, but couldn't be any more different. You know what I mean? I almost feel like like they're cousins in a way. Um, you know what I mean? And just have a completely different attitude about how things are done. Um, but it's been uh, you know it's it's just it's just fun to be able to not have the guardrails of. Um, of, of the procedural component of, of serious television that I've usually had uh, to be able to play and say things that other characters that I've played have not, would not, and could not say uh, is just joyous. I love, I love Sheriff Mike. I really do. I, he's, he's one of my, uh, probably my favorite character I've ever played. And speaking of things that normal people would never say, Sheriff Mike has kind of an odd um, choice of monikers that he really wishes everybody would use for him. And oh, he has for a Big hard Black. Time. And he has a hard time getting people to buy into Big Black. What As, is his obsession with that nickname? You know, I think, I think, you know, with obviously this, this small mountain town, as diverse as it, as it is, is on the show, I think that, that he, he likely is in the minority there. And I think that 
for him, it's not even like I don't I don't know if the I think it's a double entendre thing. I think obviously it has to do with his his race and how he sees himself because I think with Big Black with Sheriff Mike, any room he's in, he sees himself as the baddest motherfucker in the room. You know <laughs> what I mean? No matter what. So I think also the Big Black thing is also kind of like Vader. You know what I mean? Like he sees himself as this ominous superpower but but almost like a super villain who uses his power for good you know what i mean if that if that if that's a way to describe it i think thank you guys so much for talking with me today it was great meeting you Thanks you got guys. it thank you <laughs> bye-bye